Here we go, Here we go chat. Here we go. Have you guys been waiting for this? Anyone interested? <laughs> JGCR, I have one comment for you. Heihashi, Heihachi Mishima is completely dead. Wow. <laughs> so, so it's not Heihachi. Okay. Not Heihachi. So I think we are going to go into the video we're about to play. I hope everybody's back. From oh, the here we go, chat. We need that person with us. I, I would actually feel safer if we had Steve here. Come here Steve. I, I've been training. I think You've been I, training? Yeah. All right, come here, Steve. Get in here. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Steve? I'm a little in a gym. Hold on. Yeah. When you're ready, we go. tell him to play the film. Me? Yeah. Uh, do it. I will do it now. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Last character of the launch roster of Tekken 8. It's getting cold. Is that like an ogre? Oh. I got excited. Is that a Kuma? Push me to my Why is she like in a Geese Howard kind of estate? Get ready for the next battle. Bro, is she a 2D character? Tekken 8. New challenger! Reina! Reina! What the hell? Did you see her walking? What the hell? The stage is cool. No need to I can't tell if she's kind of capoey. Kind of Katarina y? Or what? Yo, this is like the dojo from like Tekken 3. Yeah, she had a little hey, Achi headbutt there. This is plain ass karate? Oh shit, she has an electric! Demon breath! That's like an open thunder god fist! What? Play that back! Play it back, dude! Here we go, chat. Reina. Let's watch this back. Let's give it a uh, one shot. We got the live reaction. I think I got hype with the electric part, right? But let's see, let's see what it's like this Peggy time. Peggy 16. We know all this part. The stage into it's pretty cool though. This these uh, statues are dope. And is it just me or is that not Akuma, bro? Is that just a random demon? Like, it looks hella akuma -y, right? Am I the only one who sees that? That is Akuma. Akuma is the demon. Like, is there a chance, then, that Akuma comes back in, like, season one or season two? Oh no. I'm just I'm just I'm just talking about what I'm looking at here in Tekken 8, guys, you know. And she's sitting in this throne chair and everything? That's pretty interesting. Try your hardest, push me to my limit. Get ready for the next battle. Yeah, very geese-like, right? Tekken 8! New challenger! 
what is that initial walk, dude? All right, we're going to watch it slower. I want to watch it slower. Whoa, not the resolution rip. I want it slower and lower volume. Look at this initial walk. Right out the gate, right? Look at this. It's almost like um, Soul Calibur movement. It's like she's got eight-way run or something, you know? Or it's like a hypnotist dance with Ling Xiaoyu. And what the hell was that? Why did that not touch anything? And that seems very like, it's like his mid version of Lucky Chloe's down people's four is why I kept on thinking Lucky Chloe from it. Jumping kick punch thing, ducks under hot. Whoa, it's like a stance, like an AOP stance kind of thing. Weird. That's a crush launcher. Bro, and that's another crush. So she's going to be a low crush, high crush uh, beast, it seems like. And she definitely has electricity sparks everywhere, huh? That's her grab. Pretty sure. She's a cheater. <laughs> Can I watch it no speed? Maybe later. Thanks for the raid. I can't see who you are right now. We're watching this in slow motion so we can see all these moves. That seems like a Katarina kind of kick. Hey. Oh, did she say Jin Senpai there? Damn, that's what you guys all... I was like, where did everyone see that? I didn't see it. It was in there, huh? Sefi Black? Yo, thanks, dude. Oh, that's what she said. Yeah. Jin Senpai. We finally have our chance to fight. Oh, interesting. It's Hayachi's axe kick? Oh. What in the... F Rewind again. Sorry. Boom! Stomp into ground punch. Interesting. And that's the breakable wall. What is this move? This this one also seems capo like, except against like they're like mid capos, you know? Like imagine like Chloe again down people's four except mid. And the first is homing too. Bruh. That's another heat engage she's got, the headbutt one. Oh, that like a hell sweep? After this heat engager? Whoa. Hell sweep high punch. And an actual, that looks like a heat smash, right? Low heat smash. Yeah. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Damn, Kazuya doesn't know who the hell she is. Yeah, it's a Heiachi hell sweep. Didn't knock down. You'll understand. You'll understand soon enough. Dude, the stance right there was sick. And, oh, dog, this was too good. That is too good. Oh, God. Look at the stance right here. That's hella Hayachi stance, right? Oh, my God. It's so sick. The eyes? <laughs> yeah, it's tight, dude. Boom! And Kazuya loses the electric. Oh my goodness. Kick punch, screw kick. Burst. Boom! Wall break again. Her version deep. Dude, the stance right there, bro! What the hell, man? Yo, that's hella Heiachi stance. It looks hella funny. Oh, it's a counter. 
Whoa! Was that even a Thunder God Fist? It looked like it. Whoa. Oh, the reverse! I didn't even notice that was the counter, dude! The freaking Heiachi counter! Put the foot on you. Get off me! And it stops him straight down? Good lord. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, the Tekken 3 pounds, that's what I was saying. The, the dojo was more like Tekken 3 than like the current Mishima dojo, you know? Uh, damn, that is crazy, bro. You love all the stomps, know your place. She is pretty darn cool. Yeah, I don't know, man. You like her? I like her. I like her way more than Victor. One last time, real time. Her hit effects are Lakers colors. Oh, the gold and purple. Yeah, I see what you're saying. The, but the interesting thing now is the Heiachi stance thing. Like, you know, I'm wondering if it's only in heat or if it's possible without heat. I wasn't paying attention to it before. Because she's also got, like, the hypnotist stance, which is not Heiachi, right? So she's got, like, a lot of stancing. Like, that's not... Uh, a Heiachi stance, right? And this is weird. Jumps over to low with it, and then this mid thing crushes highs, it looks like. That one AOP kind of thing goes under highs. It's a high crush. Low crush. It's hard to see her neutral animation in this, actually. Her idle animation. See what stance she's in. See, this stance here, it is kind of Hayachi-esque still, actually. That's interesting. They did a really good job editing this so you wouldn't notice it. Yeah, and again, yeah, you're right. So that is her basic stance then. It's like, it's, it's kind of Lydia, Hayachi-esque. It's kind of like a little cross one, but I definitely see the Hayachi inspiration in there too, right? I mean, it's karate, whatever. This thing pause, what the hell just happened? Did I get a weird frame? Damn it, I just wanted that first part. I mean, yeah, she probably plays in 1080p, so it's like easier. Oh. Can we go back a frame? Three frames, four frames? Yeah. It is kind of Hayachi esque. Damn, that Hayachi Hell Sweep into like a uh, Heat Smash that's more like an actual Hell Sweep, you know? Yeah, the Jin Senpai is very confusing. And then because he has no idea who she is. <laughs> Headbutt is Heiachi Vatu. Yeah, yeah. You'll understand soon enough is very weird too, right? Like, you don't know who I am. Well, you'll understand soon enough. Why would you say that? It seems like such a strange thing to say. That is so sick though. Hold up. What was that last there? Go two back, actually. Is this a second heat smash? I didn't even notice. I think it is. Yeah, it is. Heat smash from stance, yeah. That's so cool. I love this. Boom! And the cool thing about this too, it's like you get the uh, the Omen Blue Sparks come out here. So she gets like the Omen Blue Sparks before it hits, you know, just from the counter part of it. That Omen, bitch! Boom! It's at the Hunting Hawk. It's kind of like the Tekken 4, dude. Remember in uh, Tekken 4, Heiachi had uh, uh, like an Omen uppercut into the, into the Hunting Hawk kicks? Do you guys remember that one? 
It was a weird just frame for Hayati in Tekken 4. And that counter into Stomp, that's tight too. Dope. Very, very cool. Well, there she is, y'all. Reyna. I'm a fan. I'll take a character like this like 10,000 times over a Victor character any day. Stance before her Rage Art is something different. Yeah, it's, it absorbs a hit too, right? I don't even know if that's a stance. I think it's just the armor of her Rage Art. Because that, that's already the cinematic startup of it, right? Unless you mean before that startup right here. I don't think we even see it. Right before that? Oh. Oh. She's got red glow and everything. I don't know what the hell that is. Red glow is rage? Aw. Oh, well, that's not as interesting. <laughs> Maybe she just stand up and pose. Maybe it's her taunt or something. I was hoping it's actually like a funny stance color. Damn. Yeah, I don't know. Her whole stance is different there. Yeah, she's standing very vertical. She's not like squatting down the karate stance, right? So, whatever it is, it's interesting. Character's cool, though. Her eyes are glowing red at the final second. Yeah, right here, you see the eyes glowing red here. Bro. Okay. Crazy thought here. Little out there. Do you guys think, based on where those eyes are, that it's Heiachi's hair? Y'all see that too? <laughs> like, it's not just me, right? I'm not that crazy. You thought the same thing? Yeah. Heiachi reincarnated? Seems like it. Could be. Could be. January 26th, I guess we'll know more in the story mode, though. The site says she's Hayashi's daughter. Wait, 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 wait. Where is, where is the site? Link me the site. The site says that it's her daughter. Link me the site. What site? Tekken.com? Uh, Reyna. Acrobatic finding style rooted in Taito. And Victor, who cares? Reyna. Oh, shit. Where's the YOLO? <laughs> YOLO. Where's the YOLO motion? <laughs> I didn't see her. I was so confused about this graphic. Shit. Uh, Rain was a character conceived during Tekken 7 story development a decade ago. What? Rain was a character conceived during Tekken 7 story development a decade ago? Viral in Tekken 8 story. The Dark Awakens is the name of the Tekken 8 story. Despite her fashionable and charming appearance, she exudes a charismatic sense of evil, reflecting her character's duality in both personality and fighting style. Hmm. Uh, attack the reflective personality and acrobatic movements based on Taito. Employs an acrobatic fine style rooted in Taito using swift and brutal techniques such as knife hand strikes, eye pokes, and scratching the reflective character. Utilize a special movement called Sentai to close the distance quickly and launch rushes. While Unsoku allows her to deliver powerful attacks with agile footwork, demonstrating a speedy and aggressive combat approach. So she's got two stances, it sounds like. Sentai to close distance quickly, and then Unsoku to deliver powerful attacks with agile footwork. In addition, Reina has somehow acquired techniques like Wind Godfist and Spinning Demon, synonymous with the Mishima-style karate, even exhibits a power fighter aspect, delivering powerful moves from the Heaven's Wrath stance once used by Heiachi, who is now deceased. Her offensive capabilities near walls in particular are among the most potent of all characters. Interesting. Uh, she's like the Soul Calibur character. The one goes gloomy. Uh, Tira, the hula hoop girl. Yeah, strong wall game is very interesting too. But she sounds like she's got a lot of stances too. Sentai. Unsoku. Un uh, plus... Heaven's Rat stance. So she sounds like she might be a technical character, which is interesting. Like, what's the last technical character 
Leroy? Just for Hermit Stance? Leo, probably? Safina, maybe? Lydia had, like, a forward cat, back cat or something. That wasn't too quick. I guess so. Yeah. Uh, Rain is a character that emphasizes duality in various aspects to create a distinct counterpart to the powerful Mishima style karate. Karate. We chose Taito as a second fighting style. Taito is known for its graceful and speedy movements with sharp and agile attacks. When producing Reina's Taito techniques, we collaborated with the renowned expert, Mr. Tetsuji Nakano. I'm sure I nailed that. Who has won the Taito World Championships four times. He is not only knowledgeable in Taito, but also in various other martial arts. His advice on brutal techniques helped bring out the distinctive features and personality in Reina's movements even more. Uh, she looks cool. More about duality. Eager to work with Miss Mariko Shimazaki. Uh, so she's the designer of Kazumi and Josie. Handled the design of the brainstorming character concepts and keywords. Capturing a genuine martial artist appearance with a bold fighting style that blends elements of Taito and Mishima style karate while being a young woman who appears somewhat mysterious and has that duality. Uh, thanks to the design proposals we received from Miss Shimazaki, the grand direction for Reina was clear from the beginning. Create a 3D model we worked on incorporating elements related to our hidden background. Hidden background, huh? And duality, and how to shape it into an appealing design. Hidden background, huh? Lots of duality in there. What's this? Harada? Does Heiachi have any other illegitimate children? About 18 to 25 all over the world or more. I confirm nine. And this is from 2011. What? From 2011, Harada said that. Whoa. 